Two more you get. Yeah. So, looking at resist, um, resistance. When they resist, quite often what they'll do is they'll, they'll kind of make a, like a C shape, or whatever, lean forward slightly, like pronounce lean forward slightly, like that, and hunker down. Um, whether it be from, we're working from the front, like the clinch, or whether I've gone from behind him and I'm trying to take him over backwards, you get that. What allows him to resist at any strength? Well, no matter how strong he is, there's only one thing that really allows him to resist, and that's his base, his connection with the floor. Because um, if he wasn't connected to the floor by gravity and friction, uh, whatever I did, wherever I pulled him, he would fly. If I twirled him round, he would twirl round because there'd be no, nothing stopping my force. No matter how tense he was, he would move because he'd be a free body. But he's held by gravity on the floor with friction. So we need to be able to upset that base to take or disrupt it. We can do that a number of ways. We can physically pick him up and remove him from that base. So he's got base. I get hold of him and I pick him up, then I can move him where I want him to. Some styles will use this a lot, you know, they'll come round, come behind someone, pick them up, suplex them, I don't know, step in, put their hip in, pick them up and dump them, go down, like a fireman's carry, whatever it is that they, they do. And they remove the base by physically picking them up. Sistema doesn't typically do that. I don't necessarily think it's um, a bonus at times not doing that, but they tend to work, or we tend to work with, by disrupting the, the shape of the base, by physically removing it or collapsing the structure. So to physically remove it, say I've come in here and I'm trying to take him backwards in his resistance, if I just step through that way, you see how it goes. That's quite a standard thing, it's an easy thing to practice. You know, work, practice working, he gets a punch or grip or whatever it is. I move it around, I try to take him backwards, it doesn't work, and I take him forwards. Simple. Little um, keys to it are don't necessarily sweep the leg through because you're taking too long a movement, allows him opportunity to take your balance because while you're still on one leg you've got no base. Step straight through. Try not to, to sweep away from his body, sweep straight through, and try and use your um, hamstrings into the thigh and straight down to the floor like you're putting your weight onto it and allow your weighty hips to work. That works really well. From the back, if I'm taking it from the back, again, uh, no different from judo and a lot of other things, except with judo they tend to swing the weight through. There's several dangers with that. What you really want to be doing is just working your weight, so I might be able to try to take him forward, he resists a bit, and I take him backwards. Uh, the dangers of swinging a leg are twofold. One is I go like this and he lifts his leg and I fly forward and land on my face. Or because I've lifted my leg he then sweeps because whoever gets the sweeping first wins. So you know if I'm going for, for this sort of throw <coughs> and he goes for that sort of throw, whoever gets there first is the winner. Um, so what we need to be doing is trying to make our moves short and use our weight to drop our hips. And down they go. So that's removing the base that way. Other ways that we can remove the base, we can physically move it any direction that upsets the shape. Now we create like a hole underneath him. There's a point that he is looking for some support. So some pointers on that. First of all, the way you use your legs. Don't try and push sideways with the knees. The knees aren't designed to do that. The more pressure you put on it, the more likely something's it's going to pop. So first of all, your pressure should come in a way that the knee naturally moves, which means if I have to rotate my hips to do it, I do so, but my movement is natural. The movement is natural. So whatever work is, I'm trying to take him down. There, see now his structure's gone. Down he goes. Also, again, it's no different from anything else. The one shot kill doesn't always work. So I'm working with one principle, I'll work the other one. I might have to set the next one. Whichever one I do, I'll take him down. So I'm trying to work. I'm going around. Taking him down. All 
hold us to work in this principle of taking the base. Here, I could take the base by attacking at the hinge of the hips. His base is gone. <coughs> I'll try to keep my back straight so my base is good. Now, Gendy goes down. Sometimes that might not work because I go for the hips. He resists against the hips. Then, I've got to start attacking elsewhere. Like everything, it's about very free flowing and playing. Notice that we're not just playing soft like noodles. The kind of noodle work is really important. But also, so's working from here. Working with some sort of resistance. So I've learned to work, to escape, to feel. He's moving, I'm moving, we're trying to, to move. Still not sparring, 